Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another super fun Monster Mash. So first and foremost, for the inspiration for today's episode, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my friends that designed this lovely jewelry for me today. It's a set of three necklaces. I'm wearing two of the three because you can kind of mix and match. And I originally commissioned her to make these for me and she just kind of like gave them to me and said it would be really cool to just like see you wear it in a video. But I'm going to one up it. I'm going to give her a shout out and we're going to make a monster mash based off of gemstones today. So if you guys would like some really cool jewelry she makes, both feminine and masculine jewelry, go check out City Under the Sea Jewelry. I'll have her links down below, her Instagram, Facebook, everything you need. Go check her out. She's an amazing person. Go get some really cool jewelry if you want some. So let's go ahead and jump in and make our Monster Mash today. So I'm currently live on Twitch and I'm going to ask the Twitch community to send me a gemstone to combine with two other animals. So let's go ahead and see what they send. All right guys, so the Twitch chat has voted and sent me some awesome suggestions. So let's see what they picked from the gemstones. If I pronounce anything wrong, I am sorry. See, some of these are the first time I've ever seen these words. Uh, for the gemstones, we had spectrolite, opal, moonstone, amylite, and a ruby. And the results are an opal. Ooh, I was actually expecting one of these other ones, but okay, we got an opal. And then for the first animal, it was a rabbit, a bulldog bat, a snail, a sarcastic fringe head, or a stag and stag one ooh, that would be cool okay so for animal number two we had a blue footed booby sorry for the uh mistype there we either had that or a blind cave salamander an angel shark a quokka or a cuban python and the results are an angel shark so we have to mix an angel shark with a stag and an opal so i could see this either being a super creepy stag or a really weird shark <laughs> But I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump in, do a couple rough sketches, trying to figure out how to combine all these together, and then we will go from there. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and get these rough sketches started. So these were really fun to try to figure out how to combine these two creatures. The first idea I had was kind of like a... I guess you could call it a water Kirin in a way. Um, it just, I thought it would be really cool to do like a full body stag and put maybe some opals down the body. And I love the, the shark has these like whiskers. So I wanted to carry that into the design and it just had a very Kirin like vibe. I know it's not technically a unicorn, but I just, I couldn't stop thinking of it that way. But then the Twitch chat suggested, why not try doing a Kelpie? And I'm like, that is so smart. It's a freaking water horse. Of course I could do a Kelpie. So I jumped in and I did a rough sketch of that and I was just really liking how it was coming together um, and I could just imagine putting the speckling of the gemstone along its body to make it look kind of like scales or just have some type of reflective quality to it. And then it also really played well with the speckling on the back of the shark. Like the shark has a lot of spots on its back, like little white rings and spots. And I thought, well, we could replace those with spots and speckling from the opal. So it all kind of worked really well. And I also had a Twitch user suggest putting uh, fangs on it, like the uh, fanged deer. So we're like, that that's cool. It's kind of combining the sharp teeth of a shark with uh, an actual deer that has these really big, intense tusks. So with the rough sketch out of the way and my brainstorm completed, it's time to jump in and do the dynamic pose finalized drawing for this. And I actually had a little bit that I talked in between this, but uh, I'll be totally real with you guys. My recording software has been acting up and it keeps desyncing my mic. And basically what happened was my mic was being picked up on Twitch, but for some reason it wasn't recording on the right track on my recording software. So I lost the audio for basically everything that wasn't my intro because on Twitch there's music and it gets copyright hit. And so it just completely muted my audio. So we're just gonna talk about it here in the voiceover. So I did struggle a little bit in the beginning with figuring out this pose specifically with the legs, but I do really like the first initial sketch of the legs. So I just brought those over into this one and now we're into the line art. So a little bit of inspiration and insight into this was for these horns, I really like the idea. I forgot who shared it in Twitch, but someone told me that I should try using coral because this is an underwater thing. It'd be really cool if it kind of had a coral quality to it. So I did a quick Google search for different coral types. And there's this one that literally looked just kind of like horns. It had lots of different um, parts growing off of it. it. I guess it was like horns or almost like a cactus. Like you'd have the one big arm and then that arm would have lots of little arms on it. So I wanted to try that 
for the horns and I think it turned out really cool. I don't know if it really sells the coral look, like I wasn't trying to make it look like it was coral growing on the head, but I did just want it to have a similar growth pattern to a coral that exists in nature. And I think it turned out pretty cool and I was really excited to see this guy slowly coming together and it was really fun to mash all these elements together into this new creature. And along with that, the line art, I always have fun with. I tell you guys that every time, but this guy was really fun to try to figure out how to pull off those curves, you know, like this big, long, curvy figure. And then I also really like this pose because it was pointed out to me that it reminds everyone of a constellation within like the um, astrology or not astrology, astronomy. I, I, I'm, it's the episode all over again. I'm mixing up the two, but basically your Greek astrology sign yes astronomy hold on let me look it up god i don't know why i was spacing on it but the uh zodiac signs is what i was going for i don't know why it just completely escaped my brain but at least that's what i was thinking of so what this reminded everyone of was the capricorn from the zodiac signs and i'm like that's perfect it's not like a goat with a mermaid-ish tail but it still has a similar pose to how you see like the capricorn uh zodiac signs and I just, I think it looks really cool. And I do really like this combo of it being this interesting water creature. It's, I, I would say it's kind of, it is Kelpie inspired, but it kind of morphed into a Kelpie Capricorn combo. And I just love it. And then I also have a fun trick for you guys. I have a artist that I follow on Patreon that um, she actually makes custom brushes every month. And this is one of her brushes. I'll put a link down to her Patreon down in the description but it's a stone brush. So this helped me get all the different shapes and sizes and textures to those different facets within the stone. And it made it a lot easier because when I started with just the normal like round brush or some of my other brushes I was using, I couldn't get it to look like it was as speckled as I wanted it to. So having the custom brush helped so much. But I do think I could have figured out how to speckle it even more. Like I do think it gets the idea of the opal across, but. I just don't paint enough like gemstones in general and uh, this one was a little intimidating so it was kind of hard to figure out how to put literally the rainbow on the back of this guy without making him look like he was covered in paint so I think it, it you know it works but I could work on it a little bit more and try to perfect this in a way to make it look like the stone itself and actually when I was going back and looking at the actual stones I think what helps is that in the stone itself it has shadows present as well. Um, if you look at a lot of the photos online, there is the light that's hitting the different colors within it, but then there's some type of shadow behind that light or within the stone. And I wasn't really sure how to convey that in this creature. Like, yes, I could add more shadows, which I'm actually doing right now, but it was interesting to try to figure out how to put it behind the facets without it, you know, looking kind of weird. Cause this is a solid creature. So, I mean, in the end, I, I'm still pretty happy with this guy overall, and he's a very colorful, mythical boy, and for sure he is going to be in my monster manual 100%. And I forget to say this in the outro coming up, but this guy is going to be the Patreon Photoshop file of the month. If you guys want to see a behind the scenes of all of my layer settings, what I did to make this creature look like it did, go over to my Patreon and check it out. You're directly supporting me and the channel and helping me make this my career if you go become a patron. And depending on which tier you pick, you could get uh, sketch postcards of the month or behind the scenes photos of things I'm working on. I would really appreciate your guys' support. So if you want to, patreon.com forward slash kmckeg. And we are about to wrap this guy up. I love how he looks, but I will let you go talk to outro, Caitlin. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, and we are all done with this monster mash. And I have to say, I think this turned out really cool. I really love this combo and I never thought that these two things would go together so well. And I think this thing looks really, really sick. So the one thing that I am a little bit critical about myself is not really knowing exactly how to draw the opal texture. That was a little bit 
difficult for me to try to figure out how to translate this to make it look like a shiny rock in some way. Now that I look at it now, I think I could have added a little bit more highlights, but you know, it's a white creature, so I don't know. I need to work on probably drawing shiny rocks a little bit more, but either way, I do think this turned out really cool. So thank you for the Twitch community for sending me so many cool things to mash together and lots of suggestions as I worked on this. So if you want to join on any future Twitch streams, make sure to follow me at twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. And finally, please go give my friend Aubrey some love over on her Instagram or her website, City Under the Sea Jewelry. And I think it's really fitting that her business is named that and we made a creature that lives under the sea. But anyway, please go give her some love. She's an amazing jewelry crafter and really inspired me to do something with precious stones with my monster mashes. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week and I would love if you joined our little community here of monster and character enthusiasts. And if you guys like this monster mash, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below or if you leave me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.